Is there a thermal throttling issue with the 2019 MacBook Pros? Let's go ahead and find out. What's going on everyone? It is Andrew here from Apple Insider and we have the 2019 MacBook Pro. This one here happens to be the 15 inch model with the 2.4 gigahertz eight core i9 processor. So pretty much the top of the line model that Apple puts out at the moment. With all that processing power, it really had us begging the question, is this thing going to excessively thermal throttle, similar to the issue that we saw with the 2018 MacBook Pros? So that's exactly what we are going to test in this video. So a little bit of minor backstory before we get into the whole thing. So if anyone remembers, the 2018 MacBook Pro had a minor thermal throttling issue, where after turbo boosting and getting hot, it would then reduce speed below the advertised clock speeds of the processor. So in this case, we're looking at a 2.4 gigahertz i9 processor that can turbo boost up to five gigahertz. So what should happen is it will boost up to five gigahertz uh, for a short amount of time. It'll get really hot in there. And as soon as it hits around hundred degrees, it'll go ahead and throttle back down to the advertised 2.4 gigahertz. But what happened with the 2018 MacBook Pros on that i9 processor is it would overcorrect and it would go well below that 2.4 or whatever the clock speed was at the time. So you're really kind of expecting to get that baseline frequency and instead you're getting much slower. So it was a huge issue that it was just too hot and throttling down below that advertised clock speed. And Apple quickly issued a software patch that remedied the issue. It simply was a bug. Apple fixed it and it was no big deal after that point. But with this model here, it's an eight core i9 processor. It's gonna be crazy. So there was a lot of concern. Is this gonna have similar performance issues? And that's what we came here to test. To do our test, we need two things. We use Cinebench R20, we used R15 last year, but subsequently there's been a new version, so we're on Cinebench R20 this year. The results are not exactly the same, but we're not really looking at the scores. We're gonna be looking at the processor itself using the Intel Power Gadget. The Intel Power Gadget allows us to go in there and see actually what is going on with the processor, what the utilization is, what the speed and frequency of that processor is, what the temperature it is on that processor. So we're gonna be watching that. We're gonna watch and see as the usage gets ramped up there and it hits those speeds, how long is it gonna sustain those fast speeds and what it's gonna correct down to when it gets too high? And what is it really gonna kind of idle at over time? really kind of the actual usage of that processor. And we're gonna find all of that out in our test. So we ran the Cinebench R20 benchmark test 10 times back to back to back to back. As soon as one would end, we would immediately begin the next test, it's keeping that CPU under strain, under load, so it doesn't get a chance to cool off. So we really wanna hit it with a lot of heat and a lot of utilization. And after all of that, it averaged a Cinebench score of 3096, which is very impressive on its own. But what was even more impressive was the actual utilization and the clock speeds of the processor. Instead of throttling down below that 2.4 gigahertz, this thing actually maintained and just sustained that 3.0 gigahertz line all the way across. It kept temperatures at around 94 degrees and the frequency of the CPU was at three gigahertz, well above the advertised clock speed of this machine it would turbo boost up to that five, then come back down as soon as it hit around 100 degrees, which happened fairly quickly, and then it would drop down. But instead of dropping to 2.4, or even below that, which would be definitely problematic, it stayed at three gigahertz. This is an incredibly capable machine that not only doesn't have a thermally th thermal throttle problem, it actually is overclocking based on what Apple is advertising this machine at. So you're going in expecting a 2.4 gigahertz eight core processor, but instead you're getting essentially a three gigahertz eight core processor. So performance on this machine is absolutely amazing. There is no thermal throttling issues whatsoever. So we are really excited to see that Apple definitely made some improvements over the previous generation. So let us know down below in the comments what you guys think and what other tests you want us to throw at the latest MacBook Pros. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see and follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.